Hey everyone, in this week's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to program the newly imported robot in your VRT software. So for this week's lesson I've pulled up the Maze environment yet again and I'm going to be showing you how to program your robot in the VRT software. Now for today's example I'm going to be showing you a line follower but the same rules, the same process applies for any program that you would like to download. So this is the sample robot with an extra color sensor added onto the front and we have this black line here that we're going to follow. The first step that we're going to do is pull up the EV3. Now you can access this here by clicking here or if you don't have this menu up you can go up to view EV3 and it's going to pull the EV3 up yet again. You're going to click the center button here and that's going to turn the EV3 on or wake it up and it's going to display something very similar to an actual real physical EV3 and you can scroll through the menus just as you would now right now we don't have any programs on the EV3 but we're about to change that because I'm going to show you how to download a program onto the EV3 and you do that using the standard Mindstorms EV3 programming environment just as you would with any other EV3 now it's important that you do this step first where you pull up the EV3 brick and you turn it on otherwise you won't be able to download the program which I'll show you how to do right now okay so now I've opened up the Mindstorms programming environment and just as you would with a physical robot I have made out my program here and this is a simple proportional line follower program as to how this all works I have a separate video on that which you can go watch if you're interested uh, this isn't really the focus of the video but uh, see that I have a program here which is just the same as I would make for a physical robot. The next step is going to be come down to come down here to available bricks and we'll see in our connections menu we have VRT bot which is the virtual robotics toolkit robot that we're running in this maze environment here. So what you're going to do is click connect it comes up as a Wi-Fi connection even though it technically isn't connected via Wi-Fi that's how you establish a connection between the Mindstorm software and the virtual robotics toolkit EV3 now it's going to ask you for a firmware update don't do that I don't think this robot actually runs on firmware since it's all software based within the VRT software anyway after you've established this connection you simply download the program by clicking download and then if you come over here it should now appear in your programs library see VRT getting started and then the program is right there my maze program and now we're ready to run it so we have our program click on it to activate it and you'll see the robot hasn't done anything yet that's because we're also going to have to start the simulation by coming up here so now when we press this now we're off to the races and our robot is running the line following program that we've made for it and this of course is a proportional line follower and this is great because now we know that our program works and as I mentioned before the rules that I outlined are going to work with any program you want I just decided to demonstrate it uh, with a line following program in the maze so we can just follow this uh, robot as it line follows and reaches the red square ah excellent we made it so as we can see it saw the red square and the robot stopped because we've completed the challenge and that's how you program a virtual robot in the Cognition Virtual Robotics Toolkit now one final thing that I'd like to bring up is that if you need to you can navigate through the EV3's menu and find port view and this will allow you to read the current values on the motor encoders as well as the sensors just as you could on a physical EV3 so if I drive my robot around here we could see the differing light intensities of the different surfaces as I drive around and that's how I got the target values for my color sensor now if you're over the black line it's going to give you a zero percent reflection and if you're over this wood paneling here it's going to give you somewhere around 95 percent uh, reflected light intensity so that's how you can get the target values for your sensors and your motor encoders another way to do this is to employ the real-time data menu which gives you full floating point precision over pretty much every piece of information you'd like to know. Um, this is a little bit more lower level than using port view, but it does give you a lot more information and it gives it to you a lot more precisely. 
but either one is an option for reading these uh, sensor values. The Virtual Robotics Toolkit, or VRT, is a computer simulation software made by a company called Cognation Robotics that allows you to build and program your very own robot and go through all of the steps of prototyping a robot without ever needing a physical one. If you would like to learn more about this software, please click the link and go to my website and I'll have a full written description of the software and a link on where you could purchase the software as well as get a discount. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.